Hello sports fans, I'm Harrison, and you're watching Slice of Sports. Slice of Sports, consuming sports from a fan's perspective. And first off, Patriots quarterback Tom Brady's suspension was reduced from four to zero games when a federal court decided that he in fact had done nothing. I thought he was innocent the whole time because I think people are innocent until proven guilty and there was no way the league could prove that Tom Brady had deflated footballs. And because of this, the NFL really has lost a lot of credibility, including Roger Goodell. RG3 had another concussion, not shockingly, and now he's the backup quarterback for the Redskins this entire season because Kirk Cousins, the former Michigan State player, has the starting job for the rest of the season. And the Eagles cut Tim Tebow in a move that devastated me and football fans all around the world. But in college football for the meat of today's show, I thought there was too many cupcake schedules. Not a lot of college football fans realize this, but big colleges routinely pay smaller colleges to pay them in the early weeks of the season. And guess what? They tend to lose. Here's some examples. Call it overconfidence. But on the other side of college football, Northwestern upsetted number 21 Stanford 16-6 starting a freshman quarterback in Clayton Thorson. Number 2 TCU won against a very tough Big Ten opponent in Minnesota, and number three, Alabama wrecked number 20, Wisconsin. And the Heisman update through Saturday night. Coming in at number three was UCLA quarterback Josh Rosen. The 18-year-old true freshman was 28 for 35 with 351 yards, three touchdowns, and no picks. Coming in at number two was Derrick Henry, the Alabama running back. It's really hard for a running back to win the Heisman. However, he finished with 147 yards and three touchdowns on just 13 carries. If Alabama goes undefeated this season, he can make a strong case to win. However, my number one still is USC quarterback Cody Kessler. He mauled Arkansas State with four touchdowns and 236 passing yards with no picks. But just under just missed was Nick Chubb but he'll be tested next week by an underrated Vanderbilt defense. But now on to listener questions. Do you think it's time for Chelsea fans to panic after a bad start? Well, in short, yes. I don't think they have a chance to win the Premier League anymore. However, I don't think they should be worried about a Champions League spot. Manchester United struggled early last year, early to, only to come on strong after that. What, what are your predictions for Jake Arrieta? Well, he just got his MLB leading 18th win, and I think he'll win the wild card game for the Cubs. For your questions to be answered on the show, email your question to sliceofsports at gmail.com. Thanks for all the support you guys have been giving me. This has been Slice of Sports. Yeah, yeah.